the most powerful things that we introduce into companies when we join them in the, the, the uh, seeking of the world class standards is the idea of your customer being inside the business. And our definition of a customer is the person who gets the result of your work. The person who gets the result of your work. Now, when we talk to people about their in offices, or their consultants, or their in software, manufacturing, we talk about who gets the result of your work. And that was always, for 80% of the people, that person is inside the business. That person is not outside the business. And it's important for uh, people to realize in businesses that there's a chain of customers that most processes go through. And it has to work at each point of the chain for you to get a zero defect product at the end, if that's what you want to deliver to the customer. So we take our um, individuals, uh, when we're working with companies, we take them through this little process here of describing what it looks like uh, to be a, a customer. And I'm going to use our car industry example because it makes it easy for me. And in this particular case, uh, when they are building a car, the first thing they do is to shape the metal to look like the car. And when the metal comes from the steel manufacturer, it's flat. It's just like a sheet. And then the pressure, which is this bit here represented here, um, the sheet comes in, it goes into a great press. Those of you who have been there might have seen them. And these things might have 300 tons pressure up to 1,000 tons pressure. And when you press the button, it goes down, and all of a sudden, out comes a bridge or a wing, or a roof, or a roof. Now that's when you add value. And that bit in the middle is adding value, is changing the product in some way, so that it's a value to the customer who's next in the line. Everything else is waste. Waiting around, not doing things, machine waiting and so on, we even means all of that is waste. The only thing that adds any value is changing the product in the middle there. Now, we want the individual uh, at this first part of the process to act like a customer. So when you get the sheet of metal from the steel department, don't put it into the press unless it's perfect. We don't want cuts in it, we don't want waves, we don't want burrs on it, because we're not going to get a defect cover at the end. So we want you to act as inspector. You're the customer and you're the inspector. So don't use it unless it's right. Add some value by changing it. And then be the supplier to the next person in the line. And don't give it away unless it's perfect also. Unless it allows the next person to do a zero defect job. So that's the process. So as we go through the chain, <coughs> We expect this person to pass it on there. The next person in the, this is the, the body shop where they put the body together and finally it goes into the machine shop where they things like wheels and steering wheels and engines and gearboxes and all that. And eventually it might come out on the end as a product to the external customer. Now when you sell it to the external customer, you sell it as a perfect product. So it can't be a perfect product unless it's perfect on the way. So we also know where, and this comes, this is basically a Toyota idea, um, that as a supplier supplying it onto the next person in the line here, we want you to act as an inspector. And we use a simple phrase, and it is, don't take it from the supplier unless it's right, don't make it unless it's right, don't send it unless it's right. So don't Take it, don't make it, don't send it. And we want you to act as the eyes and ears of the company, and this is what we call two pound inspection. So it's inspected 100% by the person who's moving it on, and it's inspected by the person who receives it before they use it. We call that two pound inspection. And when we introduce two pound inspection in any process, in any company, we know that within Two months, 80% of the previous defaults will disappear just by using two-point instruction. That's a key feature 